solar lighting is possible for a greater range of projects than ever before. Across the nation, cities and developers have been choosing Sol's lights to illuminate a variety of projects, from trail lighting in parks to residential streets and more. California, Colorado, and Arizona are strong proponents for solar, and many more states are rife with potential for further growth. Over the past 20 years, projects like Sand Creek Park in Aurora have taken advantage of solar lighting as the go-to solution. Parks and trails typically have sensitive environments, and distance to the electrical grid often makes trenching too costly. The inclusion of the solar lights in the project really um, was important because the transformer location was far away. There was a closer location, but it was on the other side of the light rail tracks. The RTD, who were the owner of the tracks, wouldn't allow the city to bring electrical services underneath there. So that's when we started thinking about other options and looking at solar as possibilities for the, the two lights in the playground that wouldn't have been affordable otherwise. Early adoption was born both from a need to provide light where traditional lighting wasn't feasible and from a desire to invest in sustainable solutions. Today, many cities are also finding commercial solar lighting more viable because of cost savings, aging infrastructure, and municipalization of power generation. I think we've also seen a lot of clients more interested in it because of the opportunity to show um, efforts towards being greener and having projects that can generate their own power. So I think over time we'll see that changing and more people using it. With the right product, commercial solar is viable for more than just park and pathway lighting. Reliable lighting for local and collector streets and parking lots can also be achieved. Take Beaumont, one of California's many cities bolstering solar technology. Realizing the benefits of the technology, Beaumont became one of the first cities to include solar LED lighting in its street lighting specifications. Beaumont is a large geographic city that has a huge number of streetlights, and by changing over to solar LED, they were able to save hundreds of thousands of dollars a year that has now been diverted to police and life safety uh, activities. This has been a huge increase in um, productivity because the we're no longer dependent on the utility for providing streetlights like we were previously, and we now have a fixed cost for our streetlights for the term, which is a uh, benefit over having to pay the uh, local utility for the energy of streetlights. There are two important trends in commercial solar lighting that are leading to a faster adoption of products like the Evergen. The first is that technology improvements in solar lights are leading to an on-grid parity, both in terms of lighting performance and capital costs. As the cost of solar lighting components continues to drop and products become more efficient at power management, solar lighting systems are becoming more compact, reducing the overall costs even more. The new Sol Evergen light has a 10-year battery life, requiring little to no maintenance, while still meeting IES light levels throughout the night. Alternatively, traditional lighting and utility costs are ever increasing. Sol solar LED lights were very easy to install, uh, easier than we expected, and can often be installed um, with only a crew of two, whereas traditional street lights need to be installed with a crew of three or more. Since the city of Beaumont has installed a vast number of solar LED lights, we have seen an increase for our business and demand for these style lights in other cities and other locations because of the benefits that they have. The second important trend to consider is that the demand for smart, sustainable solutions keeps growing, and municipalities are considering ways to future-proof their cities with innovative ideas, from lighting bicycle commuter pathways to encouraging walkability and park attendance with positive activities after dark. A testament to the long-term viability of solar lighting can be found in Ray, Colorado, where 71 Sol Park lights were installed beginning in 2007 to light a multi-use pathway along the Republican River. And 10 years later, Ray's Sol lights are still operating with minimal maintenance. It saved me a lot of time maintenance so I can go and do other projects around the city. Um, trying to get in all these lights with the utility would been a nightmare, trenching along the river, um, high water levels, tree limbs, uh, clean up afterwards. So they've saved my department a lot of time. Our community has had a, a long history of exploring um, innovative ideas and trying to think outside the box to solve problems. Yeah, I think 
right now the biggest thing for us and I think for a lot of communities is is what's the low-hanging fruit that you can start to educate the community and bring an awareness about the importance of sustainability and, and what that looks like from an efficiency level in your homes and businesses um, as well as we're looking at that across the city of what's the most efficient use of our our electric resources as well as all of our other resources and um, how do we continue to challenge the status quo and think outside the box of, of what what else might be out there that we could look at. So, Solar is becoming more viable for a greater range of projects. Build, price and compare traditional lighting to solar by visiting our website solarlighting.com build.